Okay, part four of the um, core connection series. So I have a yoga block here. If you have some, you could do like a soup can. I really don't need you to have very much weight. This is really light, um, but this is something we're gonna be actually bringing over our head when we're laying down. So uh, find something that mimics this type of device. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna be doing is as our arms go overhead, this rib cage tends to want to come more out this way. So it's gonna make that core system have to work a little bit harder just to keep that connection through here going and not letting it just kind of, just losing it coming forward. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So when I come laying down onto my back here, I have the legs bent, makes that a little bit easier. We're gonna keep them bent for right now, but what we're gonna be doing, I'll just slide down a little bit. What we're gonna be doing is as those arms go overhead, you're keeping this connection down. So I'm not just letting my back come forward and my arm just go overhead. I'm focusing on keeping that muscle on. So let's review. I'm inhaling into my belly, back, sides. On that exhale, pelvic floor, lower core, and then upper core on slightly by rib cage down. Okay? So this time we're gonna add the block overhead. So I'm gonna inhale in, belly back sides, all expanding, shoulders staying down. As I exhale, pelvic floor core, upper rib cage, as I bring the block over my head. And then bringing it back forward with the everything still on. Letting that go, reset, inhaling into belly back sides, Exhale, pelvic floor, lower core, rib cage down, arms overhead, keeping that rib cage down. And you're going as far as you can with still keeping that rib cage down. If you can't really tell or feel, usually you can tell if your back starts to arch away. So the farther I go, my, I might lose, okay, keep pulling that down. And then coming back overhead. So practicing that, if you, I would recommend to keep going with the breath. back forward. If you can, you could try to keep that core group on. Absolutely. If you feel like you're got that breath going, you can keep the pelvic floor core. You know, your pelvic floor is going to get a little tired here. It should get a little bit tired. So definitely focusing on that lower core being active as you bring that arm overhead and back forward. All right. So I'm going to show you in this video some ways that you can make this a little bit more challenging. So one way is, yes, truly lengthening out your legs because the, now I have a harder time for that, that rib cage already wants to come forward a little bit more. So keeping that down as those arms come overhead and you're focusing on this doing that, not just stuck kicking on your butt and squeezing your glutes to do that. You're really focusing on the front side of your body here, okay? Now to not let your butt really do that, this is, enough, this is gonna advance it even more. You're gonna have one leg come up and I am focusing on that core, other leg up, okay? Now, so I'm here holding that muscle on. With arms going overhead. I am not letting rib cage come forward. Keep that rib cage down. Inhaling belly back sides, exhale. not easy <laughs> okay now another way to advance if I wanted to I could let legs come out a little bit as I let arms go overhead Woo! and back in legs go out a little bit arms overhead and back in okay still all the same foundations inhaling belly back sides exhale keeping nice and strong through there okay so that's some ways to advance. The goal is connecting through your core here. If you feel a lot of work in your hip flexors, then I would recommend just keep your legs down or have them supported on something because your hip flexors do have to work a little bit here. And it might also be that your legs are too far away from you and you need to bring them in a little bit more, but it absolutely still is hard work with your feet onto the table too. So that's um, some different ways to get some connection in through the core system. 
and that was just laying on your back. Really the opportunities are endless. Now that you can feel that core work laying on your back, just imagine if you were doing that with, you know, a, on your hands and knees position here, I can still focus on that inhale into my belly, back and sides like this, and then exhale, pulling up and away. Inhaling into belly, back sides. Exhale, pulling up and away, keeping that core rib cage connected. I could keep that on as I reach one arm away without letting it just fall wide forward and up. Keep that in and on. I can even bring my leg back while keeping that core connection in the front. And then back in. Inhaling in and out. Keeping that core connection on. And back in. I could do this in a side plank, same exact idea, where I'm coming up, thinking of that connection in through my core system, rib cage coming down towards my pubic bone here, versus just kind of rolling and extending up, keeping that on. I could lift up this top leg in this position. I can move my arm through. Those are all, but I'm still focusing on this connection through here and still letting the breath happen. Um, so again, opportunities are endless, but definitely focus on the foundations first, that breath inhale where I'm expanding all throughout. And then on that exhale, I'm getting a gentle pull up and in, rib cage slightly down. It's gentle. I'm not gripping as hard as I can. The task at hand determines how much I activate through here. So I'm lifting a super light cube over my head. So yes, I am focusing on some activation through here about a three or four or five, it's different than if I was pushing a couch, right? I, that type of work, I would probably focus a little bit more on there, but we're just finding that muscle right now, getting it kicking on, um, finding that awareness there and just seeing how much we um, really do need that breath to kind of get things moving through our system there versus just kind of holding our breath and working on some really kind of what we consider higher level exercises. First and foremost, you're gonna miss out on some of the really important aspects of your whole core system working together as a unit. So if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, thanks.